Why is it when I do this, this happens? Oh, that's good. Howdy, Crispers. Trace here for D News. We got an awesomely awesome question from Andrew Nisley. He wants to know what makes a crunch so enticing? And this is a great question. Although there's not a lot of peer reviewed science on the topic, there are some experts who've noticed the loveliness of a good snap. Firstly, Mario Batali, the famous chef, says the word crispy, if it's on a menu, that food item that it's describing will sell far better than the ones without that word. Though the chances are that you're not saying crispy steak or crispy lobster or crispy whatever, but instead crispy potatoes or crispy chicken. We like crispy stuff, but also crispy stuff can tend to be the fried, salty, fatty goodness that we crave too. In a book called The Omnivorous Mind, Our Evolving Relationship with Food, a research scientist at the University of Southern California named John Allen explores a bunch of possible reasons why we humans love the crunchy snackies. And most of them are pretty logical. Ancient primates couldn't stop by the store on the way home, but instead ate whatever they could get their mitts on. And for smaller primates, that meant insects, a very crispy meal. Plant stalks were also crunchy and popular with primates as well. Well, as we evolved, we rose up the food chain, eating meats and other soft foods. But once we learned to cook, we learned to live longer and have healthier existences. Our large plant-eating, raw meat-consuming intestinal system slowly disappeared over hundreds of thousands of years, and creating a crispy or crunchy piece of meat was likely one of the causes, according to Professor Peter Wheeler from Liverpool John Moores University. But aside from the evolutionary advantages of a crisp piece of meat and vegetables, there's also something else. Our brains are really good at getting bored. Food with a single consistency, texture, color, flavor, or smell would probably suck. Instead, a crunch can add a nice level of stimulation, not just for the tongue and the nerves in the head, but also for our ears. The crispy crunchiness of food adds yet another level of sensory stimulation to the act of eating. This also explains why fancy restaurants don't serve massive quantities of the same kind of food, but instead lots of different tiny dishes with complex textures and flavors. Thanks again for your question, Andrew. What is your favorite crunchy food? Tell us down below. Bonus points if you can point us to a recipe, even more if it's healthy. Make sure you subscribe and thanks a lot for watching D News.